Good morning, Insta family. <laughs> All right, I am supposed to be coming at you live from um, Healthy as Hot's Instagram. We're just having a couple technical difficulties. So for my Healthy as Hot fam, if you're around, um, come join me here on my profile. The video will be uploaded to the page later, um, but we're gonna get moving regardless this morning. So I'll give it a couple minutes. Um, and allow you to log in. All right, there we go. Oh, technology. <laughs> All right, we'll give you a couple minutes for you to log in here. One second. All right checking my phone, letting people come on in. So again, like I said, um, usually Monday mornings we're kicking things off on the Healthy is Hot Instagram. Um, but this morning I'm coming at you from my personal page, but like I said, we'll upload this to the Healthy is Hot page. Um, so you can come at it a little bit later um, and we'll get moving this morning together. And then you can do it on your own time if you please. Good morning, Pam, nice to see ya. Um, again, Despite the technical difficulties, we're going to get moving this morning. So my name's Britt, if we have not met yet, um, and I will be taking you through a uh, yoga session this morning. So what we're going to be doing today is the yoga salutation. So it's a flow-like sequence. It moves a little bit more uh, vigorously than what we've done in the past four weeks. Um, so yes, this is the last Monday of the Move Your Body January Challenge. I'm excited to kick things off this morning. So we're going to start with a little bit of breathing. We'll go into that salutation um, sequence. So it'll move a little bit quicker than what we're used to. And then we'll come back down to uh, finish off with some stretches, some breathing, and I'll send you off uh, into your Monday. So without further ado, team, let's get started. All you need is a mat, no equipment necessary this morning. Just make sure you're barefoot so we can really feel the floor um, as we're moving, using that kinetic energy to move us this morning. So laying on our back, soles of the feet are planted, the knees are going to be bent. This allows us to decompress that lower lumbar and then the upper body relaxes into the floor. So again, let's just find a nice neutral, comfortable position here. Knees pointed upwards, back is flat, and we're just gonna find a couple natural breaths. So breathe in through the nose. On that exhale, release the jaw. Send the breath out through the mouth, making a nice soft ha sound. Again, just like that, deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, ha sound. You're going to take your right hand and you're going to place it onto your lower belly. So the thumb comes just below the belly button and then your fingertips lay flat along the pubis bone, that right pinky finger inside the right hip crease. And you're going to take your left hand, place it high onto the chest, just up on above the heart here, and then allow both elbows to relax into the floor. So not holding any tension in the upper body, coming to a nice relaxed position. Your hands are your tactile points as to where we're gonna send the breath. So we're gonna breathe into the belly, then the chest separately, and then we're gonna combine the two, allowing for full diaphragmatic breath. So following my cues here, press into the right hand and we're gonna fill into the belly for one. Breathe in two. One more inhale into that right hand for three. Pause, hold. And then exhale, release the jaw. Let the belly fall. And again, just like that. Breathe in for one. Inflate the belly, two. Feel it rise to the ceiling, three. Pause, hold. And then exhale, release the jaw. Send the breath out. Let the belly fall. One more, just like that. Breathe into that right hand for one. Chest stays empty, two. All the way into that lower abdomen, three. Pause, hold. And then exhale, release the jaw. Send the breath out. Let the belly fall. Now plug that navel into the spine. We're contracting the breath out, keeping the belly empty as we breathe into the chest this time. So let's breathe into the upper body for one. Inhale, two. Lungs fill with air, three. Pause, hold. And then exhale, release the jaw, lungs deflate, jaw softens. Again, just like that, chest inflates for one. Lungs fill with air, two. All the way into the front of the ribs, three. Pause, hold. 
and then soft exhale, release the jaw, lungs deflate. Last one into the upper body, breathe into those back ribs for one, side ribs expand two, now all the way into the front ribs for three, find that hold here, staying full, staying calm, and then exhale, release the jaw, send the breath out, all the way, take one recovery breath here, inhale through the nose, exhale, let it go, nice, now from here, we're going to combine those two breaths, so breathing into the belly, and then into the chest, nice and slowly follow my cues here, so back into that right hand, press into it, let's breathe into the belly for one, inhale two, full belly three, now separate into the chest, breathe in for one, side ribs expand two, all the way into the front of the ribs, three, full belly, full lungs, and then five count exhale as you release the jaw, send the breath out, belly falls, lungs deflate, and then squeeze the breath out at the bottom, so plug that navel into the spine, contract it out, and then again, just like that, this time starting with the chest, breathe into the upper body for one, through the back ribs, press into the floor two, all the way into the front of the chest, three. Now belly fills, inhale, one. Breathe in, two. All the way to that right pinky finger, three. Full breath here, pause, hold. And then five count, exhale, release the jaw. Ribs soften, lungs deflate, belly falls. And then squeeze that breath out at the bottom. Now big recovery breath here. Inhale through the nose. Nice ha sound as you exhale, empty the breath. Nice, now from here, draw the navel back into the spine, so core engages, and then as we release the hands from the body, we hug the knees into the chest, interlacing those fingers over top the shins, and then finding a nice soft rock side to side, giving that spine and that lower lumbar a nice little massage here, welcoming movement into the body. Now slowly release the grip as you come back to center, Soles of the feet come back onto the floor. You're going to take that right hand up and over, rolling onto the right side, just for a breath here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. And then when you're ready, come up to a tabletop position at the top of your mat, and then let's get moving. So from here, we're coming into that tabletop position. The heels are directly behind the sits bones, knees under the hips, shoulders over top the wrists, and then the fingertips spread nice and wide into the floor. Let's match that breath, breath to movement as we warm up the spine. On the inhale, tuck both toes under, so feet are flexed. Lift the sits bones up towards the ceiling. Draw the chest forward and then plant the head nice and firmly into the ground as you spread the fingertips wide. Exhale, release the tops of the feet. Draw the belly button in, round the spine, and then allow the crown of the head to reach towards the floor. Again, just like that, inhale, tuck the toes. Lift the sits bones up, draw the chest forward, find a nice extension of the spine here. And then exhale, untuck the feet, belly button to spine. And then allow the shoulder blades to separate. So we're going to hold here, continuing with the breath, inhale through the nose. And then on the exhale, I want you to focus on sending that breath between the shoulder blades into that space you've created. Again, just like that, deep breath in. Exhale, separate the shoulder blades, hands spread wide, building heat into the shoulders here, holding this position for one more breath. And then as on your next breath, come back to a neutral spine. So back to that tabletop position, nice and stable here. We're going to activate those lower abdominal muscles. So from here, draw the belly button into the spine. This engages the core by lifting the pelvic floor. Connect your front to your back rib. So again, we're staying nice and connected, stabilizing the spine. And then crown of the head reaches forward, bringing a nice long back position. Keeping this stability, tuck both toes under, press into the balls of the feet, and then lift the knees one to two inches up off the floor. So we're hovering here. Eyes stay forward, and then we feel those lower transverse muscles activate immediately. Now from here, this is position one. Position two, press into the balls of the feet, Lift the hips up and back, but keep the heels lifted, knees bent, drawing the ribs in towards the thighs, finding a nice crouching downward dog position. This is number two. Inhale, come back to position one, 
back to that hovering tabletop, feel those abdominals working, shoulders start to warm up, quads are activated. Exhale, lift the hips up and back, ribs in towards the thighs, pressing the fingertips wide, keeping those eyes forward. Again, just like that. Inhale, come back to that hovering tabletop, knees stay lifted, nice and strong here. And then exhale, lift the hips up and back, keeping the heels lifted, ribs draw in towards the quads, in towards those thighs. Inhale, come back to that hovering tabletop. And then on the exhale, allow the knees to come to the floor. They separate, toes come to touch, and then your head comes to two stacked fists here, finding a recovery breath, slowing that heart rate down. Inhale. And exhale, let it go. Awesome. From here, look forward. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Step the feet back into a high plank position. So again, the feet are hip distance apart. And then we take a bend into the knees, lift the hips up and back, coming into our downward dog. So again, looking for stability here and connection with the floor. Balls of the feet are pressing into the ground. Heels are lifted and we keep a soft bend into the knees. So take note of this modification here. This allows us to keep the spine nice and long. And then the eyes are between the hands here. So keeping that head in line with the spine, gazes forward and then hands spread wide into the floor. We're just gonna get a little bit of ankle mobility here. So inhale, lift both heels, knees are bent. And then on the exhale, release the right heel down towards the floor, finding length in the back of that right leg while the left knee stays bent. Inhale, lift both heels, bend into both knees. And then exhale, release the left heel down, keeping that left hip drawing up towards the ceiling, eliciting that stretch in the back of the left leg. So moving through these two here, inhale, bend both knees, Exhale, right heel lengthens, nice stretch into the back of the right leg. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale, left heel lengthens. One more each side here, keeping those eyes forward. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, release the right heel to the floor. Right hip lifts up. Last one, inhale, heels lift. Exhale, left heel extends. Nice stretch into the back of the left calf here. Inhale, both heels lift, you look forward, and then we step or walk to the top of our mat. Give those shoulders a nice little shake, taking the pressure off the upper body. On the inhale, we come into our half back position. So connect the heels of the hands to the quads or to the thighs here, and then find length throughout the spine. So crown of the head reaches forward, knees are slightly bent, and that belly button stays drawn in towards the spine, allowing for that pelvic floor to stay engaged. Now transfer the weight into the balls of the feet, the heels may lift slightly. That feeling of falling forward is what we're looking for. And that initiates the stretch into the back of the hamstrings. So right here, find your range of motion, getting that activation into the back of the legs. And then on the exhale, transfer the weight into the heels. Allow the knees to bend as they drive over the toes. Chest comes proud. We're going into that salutation. So inhale, circle the hands up overhead. Palms face in towards one another. On the exhale, sit a little bit deeper and then connect those hands into the midline. So fingertips press in towards one another, thumbs connect into the chest. Inhale, sit nice and low, press into the finger pads, long spine. And then as you exhale, you're going to rotate the upper body over to the right. Inhale, sit a little bit lower. Knees and inner thighs are squeezing together. And then exhale, see if you can generate a little bit more rotation over to the right. Inhale, look forward. Chest comes forward, you sit as low as you can, reaching those hands up overhead, and then exhale, forward fold out of it. Inhale, half back position, and then exhale, transfer the weight back into the heels, chest comes proud, rolling the shoulders back as those hands come down by your side. Going into the lunge position here, so press into the ball of the left foot, and then flip those left toes up. So we're balancing on the right side only for a moment, and then stepping backwards, coming into a lunge on the right side. Bend the back knee, take the pressure off the lower spine, or lower lumbar, and then circle the hands up overhead on the inhale. And then exhale, deepen into that lunge and bring those hands back to center. On your next breath, as you inhale, you're gonna straighten the back leg, shifting the weight forward over top that front foot, hinging at the hips, again, long spine. And then exhale, find rotation over to the right here. So same rotation with the upper body, the lower body is just positioned a little bit differently. Inhale, press into the finger pads. Exhale, see if you can get a little bit more rotation over to the right. Inhale, look forward. Chest comes forward, reach those hands up overhead, full stride. 
Exhale, hands come to the floor. Your right foot steps back to a high plank. Right away, bend the knees, hips up, downward dog. Big recovery breath here. Exhale, let it go. One more, inhale. And exhale, let it go. Finding a little bit of balance here on this last part of the right side. Look forward and then step your right foot between the palms of the hands. So wherever it lands, it lands. That's your range here. And then from this position, I want you to engage the core. So lift the belly up, up off the thigh. And then you're going to transfer the weight into that right foot. Left foot comes up and the hands come out to a T position at the same time. So we're balancing in this airplane position on the right side, keeping that bend in the right leg. Make sure that back foot is flexed, feeling nice and stable here. As you inhale, you're going to straighten the right knee. So coming up here in the same uh, airplane position. And then exhale, bend into that right knee. There it is. So get nice and low, keeping those hips still. On your next breath, inhale, hamstring curl that left leg. So the left heel comes into the left glute. You're going to squeeze the left glute, initiating the lift of the left heel. And then step the feet together, inhale. Circle the hands up overhead, and then exhale, forward fold, come out of it really nice. Inhale, half back position, weight is in the balls of the feet. Exhale, we transfer the weight into the heels, sit low, roll the shoulders back, and we head into the left side. So inhale, circle those hands up overhead. Exhale, hands come to chest, sit nice and low into your chair position. So again, just take a quick look down, make sure the knees are tracking over the toes, they're together, toes are touching, inner thighs are nice and drawn together. Inhale, long spine, finger pads press in towards one another, and then exhale, upper body rotates over to the left. So sit a little bit lower here, inhale, exhale, see if you can generate a little bit more rotation over to the left side. Inhale, look forward, chest comes forward, those hands reach up overhead, sitting nice and deep into your squat position here, and then exhale, come out of it, forward fold. Inhale, back to that half back, weight in the balls of the feet, feel it in the hamstrings, and then exhale, transfer the weight into the heels, sit low, shoulders roll back, long spine, belly button drawn in. On that left lunge, press into the ball of the right foot, so right heel lifts up, flip those right toes up, bouncing on the left just for a moment, and then step back into your lunge on the left side. Taking that pressure off the lower lumbar, bend the back knee, Inhale, circle those hands up overhead. And then as you exhale, bring those hands into chest. Once again, pressing those finger pads in towards one another. On your next breath, inhale, shift the weight forward. So weight comes over top that left front foot. And then right leg is straight, finding the floor with both feet. Inhale, again, press into those finger pads. Engage that pectoral, those pectoral muscles in the front of the body. And then exhale, upper body rotates over to the left. Again, just like that. Inhale in through the nose. And then as you exhale, see if you can generate a little bit more rotation over onto this left side. Inhale, look forward. Chest comes forward. Reach those hands up overhead. Palms are drawn in towards one another. Finding full stride here. And then exhale. Hands come to the floor. Left foot steps back. And then right away, bend those knees, hips up. Downward dog, big recovery breath here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Soft ha sound. One more, just like that. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Great, now from here, look forward. And then we step that left foot between the hands here. Again, wherever it lands, it lands. And then engaging the core, so pull that belly up off the thigh, and then transfer the weight into the left foot as the left or right heel comes up and the hands come to that airplane position, fingertips spread wide. Draw the belly button in, square the hips, inhale, straighten that left knee. So coming up a little bit higher here, fighting for that balance. Exhale, we lower into that left side, knee over toe, right hip draws down, hands out to a T. Hamstring curl that right leg, so draw the right heel into the right glute. Now squeeze the right glute, let that lift the right heel up towards the ceiling, and step the feet together, circle the arms up overhead, inhale, exhale, come out of it, forward fold, nice, inhale, back into your half back, and then exhale, transfer the weight into the heels, sit real low here, draw the hands to the floor, stepping back to your high plank, deep breath in here, and 
exhale, let it go. Staying in this high plank position. Last little exercise here, it's a breath mechanic. So staying in this high plank or taking the knees down to the floor while I explain. So in that high plank position, shoulders stacked over the wrists, we're finding 30 sharp exhales out through the mouth. We're snapping the belly button in towards the spine. So quick, sharp exhales, allowing us to kickstart that metabolism and get rid of any toxins um, in the body throughout the breath. So what it's gonna sound like is so again, sh shooting the breath out through the mouth, snapping the belly button into the spine. So in this high plank position, I want us all to take a nice deep inhale through the nose, and then 30 sharp exhales we go. <laughs> Quick sharp breaths out through the mouth, drawing that belly button into the spine, snapping it in, <laughs> firing that breath in towards the floor. Here we go, five more, five, four, <laughs> two, one. Deep breath in through the nose, exhale, let it go, bend the knees, hips up, downward dog. Big recovery breath here, inhale, exhale, release the knees to the floor, toes come to touch, and then bring that head to two stacked fists. Exhale, let it go. Finding that pressure point in the front of your forehead and giving it a little bit of a massage as you rock the forehead side to side. One more recovery breath, inhale. And exhale. Awesome. From here, you're gonna slowly come up to a seated position. Come onto your sits bones. So sitting down, swinging the feet in front of you. And then I'm going to face you, so it's a little bit easier, but we're gonna get into a little bit of stretches here, um, a little bit of hip openers. So with the feet out in front, I want you to bring that right leg and you're gonna bend it to about a 90 degree angle as well as that back leg. So again, right foot in front, left leg behind. And I want you to look for 90 degrees in both legs. So that front knee is shooting directly in front of the hip and then finishing that 90 degree angle, right foot is flexed. Same with the back leg. That knee is shooting directly in line with the hip, and then your heel should be directly in line with that left knee. Again, keeping that flexion in both ankles is important here in this exercise. Shoulders are square over top that front leg. We're gonna find a nice long spine on the inhale. And then on the exhale, I just want you to fight by slight rotation of the upper body. So the shoulders, are going to rotate over top that front right knee. Again, just working within your range here, finding minimal movement, keeping that core engaged, spine long. Take your left hand, place it on top of your right knee, and then feel that resistance here. So they're pressing in towards one another. A Little bit of buoyancy here, but keeping that flexion in the right leg, or right ankle. <laughs> and then from here, you're gonna slowly walk that right hand forward over top that right knee Staying in that same rotation that we found upright. And then keeping that left hand pressing in towards the left, right knee, right left. <laughs> Again, long spine, eyes over top that front knee. And we're getting that stretch and opening into the right glute here, but only looking for about a six or seven out of 10 stretch. So again, nothing more, just waking up the body this morning, nice and subtly. One more breath here, inhale. Keep that right palm of the hand pressing into the floor, shoulder blades down along the spine as you exhale. And then maybe reaching that left hand out in front of the body once we feel comfortable here for one more breath. So again, drawing that right hip back, pressing the outer edge of the right foot into the floor will deepen that right glute stretch. Inhale and exhale. Slowly walk the hands back up towards the body unwind so come back to center and then bring both feet back in front of you just to reset and head in onto the left side so same thing here i want you to bend that right knee it comes behind you this time and then left leg bends in front so again looking for that 90 degree angle both feet are flexed knees in line with the hips from here same thing hands nice and wide fingertips are just hovering over top of the floor spine is long and then we find that upper body rotation over to the left. So again, not allowing those hips to rotate, but just that T-spine rotating over top the left knee. 
Now from here, take the right hand and find that pressure, that resistance into the left knee. Left hand walks forward, wherever it allows for you to get that six or seven out of 10 stretch. And again, retracting that left shoulder blade down along the spine, eyes are forward, keeping that pressure here between the hand and the knee, keeping that resistance and pressing the outer edge of the left foot in towards the floor here. Option to stay here, or you can bring that right hand to meet the left. Again, staying within your range, within your rotation. And then drawing that left hip back here, pressing into the outer side of the left leg, deepening that stretch into the left glute. Time check. Awesome. One more breath, deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, let it go. Slowly walk those hands back towards the body, coming upright, and then bringing both feet out in front of you, giving those hips a little bit of a shake here. And then we're gonna go into the final stretch, finding the final breathing exercise. So let's come back to where we started. So as the feet are planted, upper body releases down onto the ground. Again, those knees point up towards the ceiling, allowing the feet to be hip distance apart here for a moment. So deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, we let it go. Slowing that heart rate down, coming into this final relaxation. So what I want you to do here is connect the inner lines of the feet. So knees come squeezed together, inner thighs are engaged, everything's nice and central here with the body. And then we're gonna open up the knees and then allow the soles of the feet to stay connected. So coming into a butterfly-like position. So again, keep that pressure between the soles of the feet. That'll allow the knees to stay supported and a little bit of an engagement into the inner thighs. If this is too much strain or pressure on the hips, simply come back to this neutral position for this final exercise. So from here, lower body is in that butterfly position and we're creating a diamond shape with the hands. So thumb and index fingers connect and then we bring the thumbs just below the belly button and then fingertips lay flat along the pubis bone and again, releasing any tension from the upper body. So just like we did in the first breathing exercise, we're using these hand, our hands as a tactile point as to where we're gonna send the breath. So just reminding the brain that we want that breath to be sent into the belly nice and low. So closing your eyes here, allowing me to guide you through this final breathing. I want you to press into the finger pads. This is where we're gonna send the breath, into that diamond shape you've created. So let the breath empty, and then together we find a nice, slow, deep inhale through the nose, filling the belly with air. And then on the exhale, release the jaw, send the breath out, feel the belly fall. Again, just like that, into the fingers, inhale for one. Fill that belly with air. And then exhale, let it go. Feel the belly fall, chest stays empty, tapping into that parasympathetic nervous system. Let's add some counts here. We're gonna breathe in for three into the belly. So inhale for one, belly fills two. Inhale three, and then exhale, release it for three. Again, for four this time. Inhale for one. Belly fills two, three. Full belly, four. Exhale, four. Release the jaw, three, two, one. Again, for five this time. Inhale for one, two, three. Into the hands, three, four. Full belly, five. Exhale, release the jaw. Belly falls, three, two, and one. Keeping the eyes closed, continuing with this belly breath here. Nice and slow, trying to keep that five count breath in and five count breath out if it allows. But just focusing on that nice deep breathing in. Deep breath out, being sent into the belly at all times. If we find that the chest starts to inflate, simply just tap the fingers in towards the belly, giving that reminder to the brain that we want solely that belly breath. Allowing the body to soften, noticing the sensation of the rise and fall of that lower belly. Staying focused.
focused here and trusting that I'll guide you out of this final breathing exercise. Setting the breath lower and lower with each repetition. Seeing if you can send it all the way to those middle fingers. I want you to take one more full round on your own time. So full inhale through the nose. And then exhale, release the jaw. Send it out, letting that belly fall. Keeping the eyes closed. At the bottom of your exhale, I want you to release the hands from the body so they come down by your side. And then the heels extend to the floor, coming into full relaxation. So again, maybe a slight adjustment of the hips finding the most comfortable position here as we take these final moments solely for ourselves. As we breathe here, I don't want us to manipulate the breath, but rather just pay attention to it. Still trying to find that inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, and allowing the breath to soften, allowing the body to become tender. Scanning from the head to the toes, allowing the weight of the head to fall onto the floor. That space between the eyebrows to relax. Letting the eyes soften even when closed. Allow the teeth to separate as you soften the jaw. The tongue falls from the roof of the mouth. shoulders, back of the hands connect to the floor, releasing any tension into those arms, into that upper body. Ribs are soft, hips are heavy, and again the legs are relaxed, releasing any tension that we're holding here for these final breaths. Allowing yourself to really dive into this relaxation, the sensation of being tender, melting into the floor. At the bottom of your next exhale, I want you to slowly start to reawaken the extremities. So wiggling those fingers, wiggling the toes, and then welcoming movement back into the joint. So rolling the wrists, rolling the ankles, reawakening the body. On your next inhale, you're gonna draw those hands up overhead. So full body stretch all the way from the fingers, all the way to the toes. And then exhale, release. Rolling onto your right side, keeping the eyes closed here. And then finding one breath only for a moment. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Keeping the eyes closed and soft, slowly make your way up to a seated position when you're ready. So sitting comfortably, either coming cross-legged, sitting on the shins, and then hands come into your thighs. Once again, allowing the shoulders to retract so they fall along the spine. Crown of the head reaches up, eyes are closed. And then we're just going to take those palms of the hands and we're going to rub them in towards one another. So creating friction between the hands, building heat into the palms. There it is, nice and vigorous here. Once the palms feel warm, I want you to take a deep inhale through the nose. And then on the exhale, I want you to bring that heat into the eyes. So cupping the hands over top of the eyes, pressing the heels of the hands into the cheekbones. And then allowing that heat to pull into the front of the face. We hold a lot of tension into the back of the neck, at the base of the skull. So I want us to bring the focus to the front here. On the hit inhale, drawing length through the spine. And on the exhale, pressing those hands softly in towards the eyes. Pulling that heat and feeling that final relaxation and that focus. 
One more deep inhale through the nose, long spine. Exhale, pressing those hands in towards the face. Feeling that resistance and that pressure, allowing the body to soften. Slowly release the hands from the eyes, coming down to the thighs, and then slowly blinking your way back into the room. Again, keeping that sense of calm, that focus here. We take one breath all together, so deep breath in through the nose, on the exhale, release the jaw, send the breath out, and allow that tension to release from the body. We bring the hands to the chest, bring it into heart center, pressing them in towards one another. Deep breath in. On the exhale, release the crown of the head down, taking one final moment of gratitude here. Finding gratitude for the ability to move our bodies, and taking the time to wake up and move this morning, getting ready for our day, for our week ahead. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me this morning. Um, again, this will be posted on the Healthy is Hot Instagram, so um, keep an eye out for it later today, as well as all week we've got um, a lineup of really great trainers um, bringing you daily workouts. So again, Healthy is Hot Instagram, um, this will be posted, but otherwise, I hope you have great days, have a great week, um, and let's up let's wrap up January on that high note. Uh, much love to you. See you when I see you.